Hello guys, Tenzubashi here, and welcome to a brand new tutorial. This time I will teach you how to add a custom song, character, and charting to your Friday Night Funkin' mod. But first, I have to mention, that this method is only for replacing vanilla assets and don't involve coding. So this video will not teach you how to make a mod like Witty, Tricky, Sky, or that kind of things. First of all, we need to stay organized so we must create a folder to maintain all the assets we will make together. This will improve our workflow, and it will make you look cool. Once is all set up let's start with the song first. First you have to make your own song. I have a tutorial of how to make vocals, but I found a faster method that I will teach in another separated video. Returning to the main topic, the music. Once you have your sexy track, you will need to export the separated vocals and instrumental as OGG files and save them in our awesome and cool new folder. You have to name the tracks like this, otherwise it won't work. Be careful with capitalization. Ok cool, you fave our music ready to be included in the game. To make this open your game folder, then go to assets, songs, and choose one music to replace. I will replace the spookies. As you can see, there are the instrumental and vocals of the vanilla song. Replace it with our new song. Now right after doing this, I will make the charting of the song. Open your game and go to free play and select the song we just replaced. Just after the song loads, press the 7 button on your keyboard to enter in the charting window. I'm too lazy to explain how to navigate here, so I will give you a link to a complete documentation of this in the description. Once you have read all the tutorial you can start doing the charting. I will speed this shit up. Once we are done, we must save the charting in our awesome and cool folder, and keep it here. You have to make the three chartings, of the easy, normal and hard version of the song. Just only because I'm a cool guy I will spoil you a bit of this unreleased song of mine. Ok now is time for creating our custom character. For this you must download the game source code from the official GIFB of the game. The source code include the flash files of all the characters. And also you will need a totally legal copy of Adobe Animate or Adobe Flash. I recommend Animate to be honest cause Flash sometimes give me errors. With Adobe Animate installed, go to the folder, and go to Art, Flash Files, and select any character you want. Once open, you can start doing new character. Select the cursor tool and double click the symbol on screen. This will open the editable animated symbol. Make a new layer and start drawing. If you don't know how to draw you are fucked up lol. But never is too late to learn. 
I was going to open Vipa's flash file, but I lost it. So let's pretend this is Vipa and not Pico. When you are done doing your cool and awesome character, we have to export the sprite sheet selecting only the important symbols from here. And how do we know what symbol so chose? Easy. Go to your game folder and search for the XML file of the character you will replace. Open it with Internet Explorer or any code editor. As you can see here, the XML file tells you which symbols you need. Select the symbols holding the control or command key on your keyboard, then release that key, and right click any selected symbol and click generate sprite sheet, and leave all the stuff like that. Click the search button from the bottom, to choose where we are going to save our sprites. Select your awesome and cool folder and save it. And we are done. All we have to do, is replace all the files of the vanilla game with put new things. Time to test it. As we can see, everything is working just fine. So yeah we are done. I hope you liked this video. I will make the updated tutorial of the music and vocals but... Please be patient. Video editing with a shitty laptop while living in Latin America is absolute pain. So yeah. See ya.